Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, you all. So today is third of April and time right now is twelve eighteen. And today I didn't had any test, so it was kind of a holiday. And I was preparing for this PST two. So I am not giving PSTs in the coaching because I'm in Plan B and in Plan B you're not supposed to give PST. I have to give like FTS and CST from CST nine. So I was giving PST at my home because I had a free day. So I was like, why not prepare for it and give it. So I've written down the whole syllabus of it, and I've already completed this electric charge and electric potential revision, and also this sexual reproduction revision. Right now, I was trying to do this P block. I haven't realized that there is like a P block from group 15 to 18 in this particular syllabus, and I started to revise it from group 13. And after revising group 13, I checked it, and I was like, okay. This doesn't have the group 13 here in the syllabus. So then I decided to start with group 15, and I haven't studied group 15 at all because I don't like this particular group because it has like nitrogen and phosphorus. It I don't know, it's just too big to like learn stuff about it. So I was just postponing it, and today I decided to finally do it. I'm gonna be watching this lecture of VT sir. So let's get started. And look at my desk, you guys. It's so messy these days. Like. All the papers and all the short notes and exam paper, everything is just kept over here. And these days, I have also stopped going to libraries as well, cause I just prefer to revise while speaking it loud or like teaching it to someone. So that's the reason I decided to just stay at home and speak out loud. And a lot of you guys ask me how many hours do you study, kind of thing. So what I do is that I will set a timer or you know try to challenge myself that I will try to complete this chapter in 30 minutes, in 40 minutes, in 20 minutes. and then i complete it and after that i take a break of 10 15 minutes so this is how i actually study and not really like counting all the hours for which i am studying so i don't know how many hours i study but definitely i put a lot of my time into just studying and obviously you need to rest like you need to take 6 to 7 hours of sleep even if it is exam time like if i won't sleep now then my brain will not even function I have tried it once. I've just slept for like five hours, and then I went for exam, and I was literally falling asleep. I kept my head down and was attempting the paper, and apparently I fall asleep, and the invigilator was like, "Girl, write the paper. What are you doing?" So that's the reason. I just never, uh, you know, try to compromise on my sleep. I will compromise on some other things. I will not watch some YouTube or anything like that, but I won't compromise on the sleep. So now I am done with revising this chemical control and coordination chapter. After that, I started revising the solution chapter. So after completing group 15, it actually ended up taking a lots of my time. So after that, I decided to leave the PST two and start to prepare for FTS, which is tomorrow. So in FTS, uh, these are the chapters coming which I'm preparing right now. So after revising short notes of solutions, I was watching this lecture. It's basically a question practice lecture. So sometimes I watch these lectures, or sometimes I just practice it from my book. Sometimes module, whatever. It's just not necessary that you need to practice this particular question. It's just that you know your old concept should be brushed up so that you can apply the formulas whatever you have studied just now. So I just do whatever I feel like doing. So now I'm done with solutions. I'm not doing it anymore because I don't have much time and I need to revise all the chapters before the test. So after that, I started revising this chemical kinetics chapter from my short notes. And now I'm even done with revising chemical kinetics, and it took me 40 minutes to revise it. Now I'm going to practice its question, and this time I'm using this book from this a publication. It's a PYQ book, so I'm going to practice questions from it. So for me, chemical kinetics is an easy chapter, so that's the reason I didn't watch the question practice series for it, because I don't want any explanation. I'll just see the question and I'll do it on my own because I like this chapter. After that, I revised electrochemistry from my short notes, and then I practiced its question as well. And now I am revising plant growth and development because this is also going to be there in the test. And this is pretty much what I did for today's day. After that, I slept and. Next day I woke up at around 8 a.m. and I had exam from 9 a.m. till 12 20 p.m. and time right now is 4 p.m. and I was back from exam at around 1 or 1:30. After that I had my lunch and maybe I slept for some time. And this is the paper and you can see the syllabus as well. And tomorrow also I have FTS of Code B and the syllabus is gonna be same. So I'm not preparing for this now. I'm gonna prepare for PSC two. So and uh, I will analyze this paper once I get the answer key and then I will see what concepts I'm lacking. I will just revise those for next test. So right now I'm gonna prepare for PST two and I'm gonna start with current electricity and I've also made this coffee for myself because it's really necessary these days. So as usual I'm gonna start revising current electricity from my short notes. So let's get started. So 
so finally i'm done with revising current electricity and it was a big chapter so it took me one and a half hour to complete it and after that i had the answer key of today's test so i was just checking the question paper i didn't analyze it just now i was just checking what i did wrong and basically calculating the marks cuz ek bar paper dene ke aane ke baad rehta hai na ki kya kya sahi hua galat hua to dekhna to bas wahi check kar raha tha ek bari and after doing that i started to revise principles of inheritance and variation chapter it's also a big chapter but i actually like this chapter but still it took a lot of time cuz i was revising it after a lots of time so yeah So basically it took me almost 2 hours to complete this revision but I'm glad that it's completed so now let's cut this from our list After that I had dinner and I've rested for some time and time right now is almost 9 pm and now I'm going to start with question practice of current electricity So I'm practicing its questions from this Uddhan series of MR sir So the series is pretty good it has lots of question covered and like all the concepts just get brushed up once And if there were some chapters which were not completed in this series then I prefer to watch the Manna Choudhury ma'am's question practice series and honestly speaking not every time I practice questions cuz sometimes I just don't have time cuz I have like back to back tests so I don't really end up practicing question but it is important to practice questions honestly like I've seen this the in the chapters which I practiced questions those tests went well and the rest just don't went that well anyways now I'm done with current electricity so now I'm going to start revising moving charges and magnetism So I'm just revising it once from my short notes. I haven't practiced its questions because then I had to analyze this test as well so that I don't make the same mistakes in the tomorrow's test. So this is next day again with my coffee and I'm done with this FTS of code B as well and it also went well. So in both of these FTS I have scored almost the same mark 631 but like the subject wise it is different. So that's about it. And uh, also guys by the time you're watching this video I've already given my first full syllabus test which was open mock test 1 AIATS basically and it was on 7th of April and I've scored 550 marks in that particular exam in that exam my chemistry was just very very bad I've just attempted like the physical portion because that's the only chemistry part which I'm confident about I haven't attempted any question of organic or inorganic also I've attempt attempted very few questions so that's the reason the marks were pretty low but uh, that's all right like considering it was my first syllabus mock test and we're going to improve so that's okay and by the time you're watching this video I've already given my second full syllabus mock test which was on 14th of April and uh, it was also AIATS and it was better than the last time so I won't tell the scores because I don't have the scores right now so when I will receive the score I'll tell you that as well so that's it for today's video Do let me know how much you are scoring and how is it going for you all and uh, yeah that's it for today's video and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you with the new video very very soon until then goodbye